Thank you, Scalar, for sponsoring this video. So you want to learn how to code, and this is the first time you're doing it, and you have no idea what you're about to face. I'm going to talk about that in this video right now. For those who are curious and getting into code or are just starting to learn how to code and have no idea what you're going to face learning how to code for the first time in your life, most likely, I'm going to talk about that in this video right now. Learning how to code for the first time is probably going to be very terrifying for you to be honest why learning programming learning how to code is a risk for people because that time you use to learn that language you will never get back so then is it worth it hell yeah it's worth it i think it's very important to understand that when you do learn how to code you are going into an absolutely new world something something that you've never entered into right something totally different from what you've ever experienced you're learning how the internet works you're learning how websites work you're learning how the browser works you're learning how to how everything works you're learning how to maybe potentially how computers work when it comes to software engineering you're learning how data works how data could be moved all these different things that you never even knew existed you will now learn it exists and how it exists and why it exists is it worth it yes why because so few people out of everyone else in the world are software engineers. Yes, it seems like everyone's a software engineer. Is that true? No. Very few people are software engineers in this world, in particular, even in the USA. But that's also the reason why the few of us get paid so well. Is it worth it? Yes, it's the same thing with college. And I, and I think college it potentially could be even a bigger risk because when you look at college, it's like how many people actually go to college and it's not even worth it. And whatever career they're in right now has nothing to do with the degree, yet they're still in debt paying off those college loans. Now, another thing that you'll face when learning how to code is struggle. You're gonna to wanna to give up almost every single step of the way. You have no idea how JavaScript works. What the heck is a programming language? What are functions? What are if else statements? What are for loops? What are databases? What is the API design? Algorithms, leak code questions, all these different things you have no idea that existed before, right? Learning how these programming languages work is gonna be very difficult. And along the way, you're gonna feel very stupid like I did. Especially with me, I have dyslexia, and I didn't even realize I had dyslexia until five years into my career, okay? And I always wondered why it was so difficult for me to read documentation to understand and why I had to put in that much of my effort to understand. I have mentored the last five years, and the one question they all ask me is, Chris, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yes, it's totally worth it because they all want to give up. Everyone wants to give up because it's so freaking hard. But again, just like every other video that I've created in the past, the reason it's hard is why we will make so much freaking money. The reason it's so difficult is why so many people give up and why the people who don't give up and push through to the end make so much money. Yes, whether you live in the UK, whether you live in the US, you will get paid well, but pretty decent at least. Learning code for the first time. Number three, you will not know where to start. Who do you trust in the internet? There's so many YouTubers out there in the internet today where everyone gets different advice. And that's totally fine. Everyone ha has their different roads in the way they, that the, the roads that they took to get into tech. Everyone has had different situations. Some people went to college, some didn't. My audience, the people I'm talking to, are people who already graduated college, but not in a computer science degree. People who were like me, hated school, and are already in their mid-20s when they start learning code, late 20s, early 30s, late 30s, early 40s, late 40s, who want to learn code now later in their life, who don't want to go back to college. These are the people I'm speaking to. So a lot of us will be wondering, where do I start? Who do I trust? This is when it comes to finding the right website, the right course to learn how to code is very important. There are so many different websites out there that you can trust. I think more than anything is first, number one, understand what it is you wanna get into first. Do you wanna become a front-end developer, a back-end developer, full stack developer? I fully recommend being a front-end developer first because it's easier to get your foot into the door as a front-end developer and then become a back-end developer. But anyway, some people will be wondering what course you should learn and so that is where i actually want to go to today's sponsor scalar scalar is an edtech platform co-founded by tech leaders with experience across facebook working directly with mark zuckerberg and building facebook messenger and an nyc based retail marketplace unicornfab.com scalar is providing services that you can think of only getting at elite institutions but only at a fraction of the cost Scalar offers courses to help produce top engineers by helping them master problem-solving skills and even things like system design. 
Their curriculums are designed in consultation with scores of major tech employers, including Amazon, Google, Microsoft, PayPal, and even Adobe and more. What Scala provides is industry relevant curriculum, live lectures with experienced instructors, one-to-one -one mentorship, mock interview sessions, and even career support. Registration link is in the description below. Click below to register for this master class by Scala and find out from tech experts themselves and how to master technical coding rounds at Mang Companies. Thank you, Scalar, for sponsoring this video. Next, I think the last and most important thing I wanna talk about is how when you do learn to code for the first time, you're gonna feel alone. I mean, I think a lot of people will feel alone. And I say that because I felt alone. I remember thinking, gosh, I bet learning how to code is easy for everyone else but me. I bet learning JavaScript is so easy for everyone else because I didn't finish college because I barely graduated high school. I think it's very important to understand that this relates to everyone. Even people who are in college getting a computer science degree. Now granted, they have teachers that can help them. They have tutors they could probably go up to. As a self-taught developer like you and me, we didn't have people to go up to. So I think this is when it becomes very important and apparent where you understand that you're not alone. Joining a community, you can join my Discord community. There are a ton of dis different communities out there. To be honest, you don't even need to join a community. Join Tech Twitter, create a Twitter account, follow people on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Put a link in the description below, twitter.com slash realchrisshine. But seriously, there are so many people who are struggling just like you learning how to code. Find them on Twitter. Find the people who have large followings and look at the people leaving comments on their posts and follow them as well and see what they're talking about. Then you start sharing your journey and what you're struggling with and you can tweet that out and build a community and network and use that to help you get a job down the line. What I'm pretty much trying to say is that yes, you will feel alone, but it's very important to understand that you are not alone. You are not by yourself. We're all going through this together. Anyway, <laughs> that's my 10 minute rant on what you would feel when learning how to code for the first time. I want y'all to know you're not by yourself. Leave it down in the comment section below. If y'all started learning code recently, been learning code a year ago, let us know. But again, I want to thank Scalar for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description below. And I love you all. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.